Shaitan comes to us and makes us think perhaps that we may not be forgiven. Don't fall in that trap. But today I want to take it from there. Now that I'm forgiven, now that I feel so energized, what is it that I need to do? We have a few issues we need to talk about because sitting here, it might feel so good. I might be softened. I might really feel I need to change or I, I believe I have changed. The minute you walk out and go back into your circles and everything, you know, flows as it was, you tend to forget. And over time, what happens, you might slide back into where you were in order to avoid that. Together with the determination that you have right now, you need to make a few changes in your life, starting with the circle that you cruise in or the people that you move with. If that company was what caused you to distance from Allah, then surely it needs changing unless you can impact on it to change, which is rare. It's very rare for us to be able to change company that is toxic. Unless you're a mentor or you really are very good at it or you're the leader of the pack. You know, they say when the main gangster becomes a person who's practicing, the little gangsters will all come with him because they're all the gangsters will be in the first saf now, right? And mashallah, Allahu Akbar, and there we are. All the, 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 the gangsters are standing there and everyone's looking. Those guys were in the places and now they're in the main place, the masjid, right? But if you're not the leader and you don't have that level, you need to realize without changing circles, you're not going to have a long-term effect and impact on you. The change that you want to bring about within you is not going to really be meaningful. So start looking into who you are going to interact with more and who you are going to either cut out completely immediately or over time minimize with them and protect yourself from being contaminated once again.